Before I became mayor, there was planning permission at the St Anne's Hospital site for 470 homes, of which just 14% were going to be affordable. This would have been a shocking waste of this opportunity to use public land for public good. That's why we took the chance to intervene and we've transformed the plans for this site. It will now deliver an estimated 800 homes with at least 50% affordable. That represents a six-fold increase in the total number of, of affordable homes. We're able to achieve this by using my new land, uh, London Land Fund to buy the site from the NHS Trust. This gave the NHS Trust the funding they needed to invest in new clinical services and us the chance to work with the council and the community to make a far better scheme. Thanks to our involvement, input from the council and the work of the local community groups and Anne's Redevelopment Trust, the scheme now includes at least 50% affordable housing, the majority of which will be for social rent, at least 50 community-led homes, making St Anne's one of the largest community-led housing schemes in London, and new council homes alongside London Living Rent homes where NHS staff get first dibs. Getting to this position has taken time and work, not just from my team, but also from the directors of St Anne's Redevelopment Trust, who have been working together under a Memorandum of Understanding signed last year. We expect to bring the formal process for selecting a development partner soon. The terms of this tender have been developed by my team with Stark's directors' involvement and they, will continue, and they will continue to play a central role for the community to play as this scheme progresses. The role of uh, START will be critical to delivering the community-led homes, and we hope there will be opportunities to go even further in providing more affordable housing once a partner is in place. I've been determined to make sure St Anne's is an exemplar of as many of my housing priorities as possible, which is why council homes, community-led homes, and London Living Rent Homes for NHS staff are at the heart of our plans. Clearly, there will be practical and financial limits to what we can achieve, and the final details will involve compromise on all sides. I hope everyone would agree the future of this site has now been transformed for the better. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, just to clarify a couple of um, next steps. I think you said it's going out to tender to developers very soon um, on the terms that you've just stated. So that's 800 homes, 50% affordable. Um, has Start, St. Anne's Red Redevelopment Trust, the community land trust that came up with this idea in the first place agreed to those terms and, and the terms of, the, of their working going forward? Yeah, so, so the Deputy Member for Housing meets regularly with uh, Start. There have been a number of meetings and uh, they've been involved throughout this process. And they've, they've signed off it going to tender. I understand that not to be the case. Uh, I, I know there have been, been regular meetings and they've been involved uh, throughout. I can't give you the answer to the specific tender going out because obviously um, that will be up subject to discussion between the housing team and uh, uh, start. But I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if you're suggesting that they've not been involved in the process. Uh, they've been involved in the process yeah. up to now, but have they actually signed off going forward to tender? I, I'm not sure about whether they've signed off the, um, the tender process, but I can get someone to write to you about that. Okay, I wanted to go through some of the details of the scheme as it, as it stands sure. and the plans. Um, in the context of the agreed vision for the site, which says the scheme will be used in future as an example to others, that such schemes can be viable, financially viable and deliverable. Um, and obviously on the proportion of genuinely affordable homes, you're talking about 50% just there. Start's plan was and request was for a minimum of 65% and they want 100%. They made plans to do that. Uh, the number of community-led homes, you said, was 50 out of potentially 400 genuinely affordable homes. That's just 12% of the affordable homes. So in terms of it being community-led and an exemplar scheme, it seems things have been watered down. I mean, the vision itself now says community-focused instead of community-led. Um, instead of start being the community group to work with and heavily involved, it seems they're now part of a, a wider steering group they get to sit on and at the end of it they get to bid for this, these 50 homes, this handful of community homes. So is this really an exemplar? Isn't it basically just now a business as usual developer led type scheme? Chair, I know there's a, a mayoral election coming up but I think we've got to be sensible about these things. This scheme no. began with 400 units of housing mm -hmm. with 14% affordable under a dodgy definition. It's gone from 400 units of housing mm -hmm. with 14% dodgy definition affordable to 800 units of housing with 50% genuinely Mr. Matt, affordable. Mr. Matt, that's a great improvement. Well, and also, well, can I commend you, see, you on, the, on the homes? You not that during your three-minute question. In well, terms of numbers... Well, you asked a three-minute question. Can I give a three-minute answer? That's fine. In terms of numbers, no, clearly. you've made it's, it's a, a silly, great you know, improvement. Yeah, ten months I think of this, Ma Mr. Matt, do not interrupt me. Um, you've made a great improvement in terms of numbers. The NHS-focused homes are a great thing. 
But in terms of it being an exemplar of community-led housing, I'm not sure we are there. I mean, well, like, what, what kind of reaction are you expecting from people coming to see the exemplar well, scheme? They're just going to say, look, this is, I can see schemes like this all across London. It isn't the community-led housing that was in the original community vision, is it not? Well, Chair, in response to that speech, I'm happy for the member to give me examples of any other scheme which has gone from 14% of 400 you to, know, you well, know that community-led is about the way it's managed, about community control, well, and I, it seems like this is going to be developer-controlled. It, it seems to show a lack of imagination from your housing and land team. Chair, the phrase that will be used on a green leaflet coming to you soon is business as usual. Now, it clearly isn't business as usual if we've gone from 14% of 400 units, not, not genuinely affordable, to 50% of genuinely affordable with 800 units. That clearly isn't business as usual. It's, it's, it's an improvement, but it's very much along the lines of many well, other schemes you're, I'm you're sorry, doing Chair. across London. No. Can I ask, in terms well, of on a labour lift that comes soon is green U-turn. In terms of community involvement, can I ask that you do meet start before it goes out to tender well, and hear their concerns, because you again, seem unaware Chair, of them. Again, Chair, you see, this is misleading the public. So Deputy Mayor James Murray and my team have met regularly uh, with uh, Start. When we're did you gonna, last meet but, Start, Mr but, Mayor? But, but, but we're not going to use Start to make cheap points. We're going to work with them to improve the scheme. And because of their input, we've gone from a situation where this scheme was going to be was sold off 14% dodgy definition of affordable housing. Mr Mayor, you then, can't then, just keep then, saying those numbers yeah. to me. I'm afraid I'm out of time. Oh. I really hope you will meet Start before this scheme goes out to tender.